Hi, it's Ella and welcome or welcome back to my channel for another video and today I'm going to be doing a week in my life. You fill my head with roses. I can't help but dream away. Standing on a field with you and flowers everywhere. planning on just taking you through my week. I have a couple of exciting things planned. I also have a lot of work that needs to get done uh, for my small business so I thought I would share some of that and I also have a project that I'm working on behind the scenes that I want to talk a little bit more about you well, to you guys. Um, so just kind of re revealing a little bit of that, but I will do that later on uh, in the week. Um, so yeah, it's going to be an exciting week. Right now it is the 11th. It is almost 2 p.m. on Tuesday and I am about to leave for physical therapy. So I am a little late. I'm running late. I need to get ready but I just wanted to start this vlog now. Also let's address the fact that I have my hand brace on. I have a thumb tendonitis again which is fine. I get it a lot but it's back because I have been working so much on my bullet journal and on making new design for my shop and um, holding a pen is like what gives me tendonitis the most. So yeah, I need to leave right now, but I will see you guys later. Life is a winding road. No telling where it goes. Driving through days and nights. Stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Let me figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down I will keep on searching for my highs Say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Jumping from cliffs so high Trusting our wings to fly Sometimes we're crashing down But we get up and start from the ground day which wasn't really planned at all uh, basically yesterday after I went to physical therapy which by the way went great I went to the medical center to get some results because I was waiting to know if I was accepted to a physical rehab center because I need to go to help with my paralysis recovery um, and basically they refused me 
for the second time after I was told that if we reapplied correctly it would be fine. It was not, which is so annoying, but um, basically the um, secretary lady um, was like, there's a place tomorrow morning at 9 if you want to come and talk about this. So it is the next morning, it is almost 9 and I need to leave for a doctor's appointment to go like talk about all of this because basically we are at the 12th today and if I want to go in for a physical rehab I need to go before I have surgery in June. Basically it is a whole mess. I am quite stressed out but I'm happy that my doctor took the time to see me because we are in a rush and it is time for me to leave right now so I'm going to go and I will update later once I am back from the doctors. A couple hours from Japan Would you stay awake? I'm losing touch of who I am When you're far away And I feel like I'm running in circles around you It is now much later, it is almost time for me to leave again for my next appointment which is kind of crazy. It's going to be a busy week but anyways, um, this morning with my doctor basically I was surprised to know that he's completely on the same page as us. He is so frustrated with everything going on. Uh, and he's ready to fight for this uh, physical rehab because he is also like with us in the um, thinking that it's what I need to progress um, because once or twice a week physical therapy is not enough anymore to like do great progress but unfortunately um, Depending on what we do, we also have insurance as a problem. Basically, he said that he could try something else, but we already know that in the past. My insurance said no to that, so it's not an option. Um, but there's another way around to the clinic that I want to go to that was amazing the last time I went to which is to go on vacation in the same town and like go there every day but not stay there but only do physical therapies there which insurance might be more okay to pay for but we would have to pay for the trip. Basically that's our first option. Uh, the second one is to find another clinic which is extremely hard to do because it's basically impossible to find a clinic that takes people with functional neurological disorder which is what I have it's a mess but uh, we are continuing with this idea hopefully we will find a way um, like we need we found a couple like this morning a couple more clinics that we are going to contact but I've been working on some new products for my shop um, this start of afternoon but now I need to leave to go to um, therapy because I have a psychologist appointment 
So I'm gonna go do that now. Um, it's a busy week. <laughs> that I wanted to tell you guys about. This uh, package is from Florifab. They reached out to me. They are a company that sells kitchenware, uh, bakingware, um, kitchen tools, and little gadgets. Uh, I will put up their website on the screen here. They reached out to me a couple weeks ago to see if I was interested in reviewing some of their products um, and in exchange they have sent me some of their products for free and just to be transparent I am not getting paid to do this review I just got the products and got to pick out what I was interested in so I will be honest with how I actually feel about the products and I have finally gotten the package after a few weeks. It took a few weeks to get it here just because I live in Switzerland. Um, so I'm just gonna open it and I'm gonna show guys what's inside and what are the little tools and gadgets that I got. If the wind could spread your love What if your sweetness could reach everyone There'd be no wars mm. Maybe the birds will sing about your heart Maybe the trees will whisper the word Maybe the sun will spread your joy To the ones who lost their hope website are all products that I think will gonna help me in my daily life partially help me also with my chronic illness to manage a couple of things and I noticed some other things like on the website I will try to pop a couple pictures of other things that might help you guys also if you have chronic illnesses there's a lot of small things that can help um, like reduce the amount of energy that you need to do some tasks and just make your life a lot easier 
and that's why I wanted to share this also because I feel like um, a lot of you guys might benefit from this and if you want to get anything from the website you can use code FLORIFAB10 to get 10% off your order. I will put in the description box down below the code and all of the information linking all of the products that I got, everything so you can find everything that you will need a pack of straws which the colors well still have the backing the colors are gorgeous and if you don't know this because of my mobility issues and just overall mobility issues i have a really hard time drinking from a glass like i needed some that i can just have in my bag obviously i'm not going to test these out today i need to wash them first and they also come with a a washer so that's pretty good and then I got a egg separator so you basically just crack your egg on top and it catches the yolk so you can separate it pretty easily and then to go along with that I got some round cookie cutters because I never found them in stores ever I've tried to, to find some for years never found some and I really want to make some cookies with that are round so I'm gonna test these out I have been waiting to receive these to make them so I will see you guys um, a little bit later um, once I have the ingredients to make those and the last item uh, came in a little damaged um, that's like the box is all like ruined and it wasn't two pieces luckily it was just like one of those that you can just put back in and then I just put on um, some batteries and I can test it out it is a sealer for like food you just go like this and seal back packages so to test that out I took a bag of chips down the stairs and I'm just gonna test it out to see how it works. By the way, these chips are the best um, replacement for uh, the Pringles ones for those who can't have gluten. Okay, first thing, you don't need to press that hard, and then you can see here, it's actually sealed, which is so cool, and it actually works. So now that's one less problem that we'll, we will have. Um, what if the world had more of your smile? What if the wind could spread your love? What if your sweetness could reach everyone? There'd be no wars mm -hmm. Maybe the birds will sing about your heart Maybe the trees will whisper the word Maybe the sun will spread your joy to the ones who lost their hope It is
is now the next day and I didn't really give an update um, after my therapy appointment uh, but I don't know if I talked about it a lot or not but today we continued with my ADHD assessment because I finally have my appointments with a neuropsychologist to do the like actual tests and she's doing the clinical part so like the like questionnaire where they ask like did you used to do this or that in your childhood and then um so that's what we're doing right now and at the end of the month, I'm starting the official assessment for ADHD and autism with the neuropsychologist. And it's good that it's finally happening. So that was for yesterday. And then I worked so hard last night and I finished my mini planners to add to my shop. I'm adding them today. Um, I will like show you a little sneak peek of what they look like. By the time this video is up, it will probably like already be made but I'm also working on a second launch for the end of the month I'm updating an old planner and I'm also adding French version to my site because uh, like my first language is French uh, my country speaks French so it's a lot easier to have some in French but I wanted to start with English and then add French as I go and for today, I'm going to go get a haircut and normally I should get my hair dyed back at first, like again. Um, you might know that I'm not a redhead, I'm actually a blonde that dyed my hair um, like red and then now it's really faded. Like I think my roots are about here now. Uh, because it's been like literally a year since I have uh, dyed them which is pretty impressive that it still like look looks like this uh, but I say I should because my mom which she went to get an appointment for her and got the appointment for me pointed out uh, she it's pretty late in the day the appointment and like she's kind of like did she actually put time to do the whole color or just cutting the hair so we shall see but if everything goes according to plan i'm getting a haircut and dyeing my hair today i'm so excited <laughs> It's not your fault and you don't deserve All the bad in the hurt Ooh, I know you tried so hard Ooh, I know you've done your part It's not fair your time How much longer will you suffer in this life But don't give up Just hold on Hi! I am now back at home I didn't really do what I thought we were going to what my idea was but I'm actually still like super happy about the result like it's really cool we went for a lot more natural looking hair compared to like the really uh, red that I have been doing in the past and depending on the lighting it looks very red and then depending on the lighting I feel like it looks really like brunette which is not what I had in mind, but also like I'm s happy with it. Like, it's a good change and I really like it. I had something happen like this afternoon and 
it reminded me of something that happened last night that I didn't talk about and that I want to explain because I feel like maybe I can have someone else's opinion on this. Um, basically, uh, in December, I was diagnosed with non-epileptic seizures, which are a type of seizures that... I don't know how to explain it, but it is basically caused by FND, which is the neurological disorder that I have. And it's like epilepsy, but it's not caused by mis um like electric signals in the head and basically like an EEG comes back clear but your brain still dysfunctions and I had a total of five seizures between December and then one in January uh with my aunt um and my aunt does um kinesiology and we have been working um, on kind of like flirting with the limit of me having a seizure to identify the triggers and like she she's doing that in a very safe way um, because she is trying to see if um, one of her patients like is not conscious anymore so it's very safe I don't recommend you to do it because I personally have full trust in her, um, but that's what we have been doing. And I was able to identify the pre-seizure symptoms. Last night, I couldn't sleep, and suddenly, like, my head felt fizzy and, like, weird, um, and I felt myself, like, slip into unconsciousness and I was able to actually recognize that I was going to have a seizure and it's the first time that I woke myself up before I had a seizure because once I have started I cannot wake myself up by myself um or like I never had a seizure when I was alone and no one woke me up so we actually don't know we never experimented with what would happen if I was not awakened, but I was in bed. No one could have checked on me, but somehow I woke up, but I was not fully awake. Like, I was slipping back and I could feel the pre-seizure symptoms getting worse and worse, and Somehow, my mom came in the room at that moment because she was putting Skyla to bed with me in my room and I snapped enough out of it to voice that I was not okay and she just came and like woke me up and that was enough and then I like fought to not fall back asleep basically. And today, like this afternoon, I got a headache and like my head started feeling fuzzy and I was like, I never had symptoms outside of a, an environment where I was about to fall asleep. So it was very weird for me. I was feeling pre-seizure-y and my head was hurting, my brain was fizzy, um, fuzzy, and, like, weird, and I don't know what's going on. I don't know why suddenly it's, like, all weird, and I know that, um, like, with non-epileptic seizures, you can have, like, seizures while you're awake, um, so I'm really afraid that that's starting now, so I don't know what's going on, but I wanted to, like, talk about this in case like anyone has any experience with that but yeah that is basically what is going on I am pretty stressed out the idea of going to sleep and if I have any more clips I will add them here but if not guess who forgot to share the big project that I have been working on and 
was going to end this vlog after teasing it and completely forgetting about it. It is me. So I'm gonna add this in somewhere uh, really quickly. Um, and the announcement is that I am going to start a Patreon account. Uh, if you're not familiar with what Patreon is, it is basically a subscription service um, to help creators and get some bonus content to help creators. So I would start one. Um, so you guys, if you want to help me in my journey, you can um, pay a monthly amount to receive additional content. Uh, it is like a really cool little mini community of people and I'm currently working on that and the reason why I wanted to um, share that before I actually do anything is because I want you guys' opinion and feedback on what you would like to see from me. I was thinking like things like behind the scenes videos. Um, 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 promo codes for my small business, maybe some, um, like, things like that, I think. Um, uh, for now, that's the ideas that I have. I want to launch in June, so hopefully this video will, like, go up, um, soon enough so that you guys can, um, tell me what you want from me. Uh, obviously, um, it, it won't change anything to my YouTube content or to anything at all. It's just going to be, like, if you want more. And, yeah, that's basically what I have been thinking and I wanted to share that. And now I'm gonna leave you with the rest of this video. If not, I'm gonna end this video right here because I think it's already very long. But if you want any more updates, I would highly suggest you go watch me on all of my other socials. They are in the description box down below because I post daily on there. And also subscribe to my channel. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to turn on the post notification bell to get notified whenever I upload next. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!